Hello, my name is Louisa Nolan. I'm Chief Data Scientist at the Data Science Campus at the UK's Office for National Statistics. ONS is the National Statistical Institution for the UK and it's the UK's largest producer of official statistics and insights into the UK's economy, society and population. And the campus was created three years ago with a mission to ensure that ONS and the UK's public sector takes advantage of the opportunities of the digital age. So we explore new data sources, new data science tools, techniques and technologies, and we're building data science capability across the UK public sector. A good example of where we've explored a new data source with a big impact is in our work with the O2 motion data. As the COVID-19 pandemic took hold back in March, we were asked to respond urgently to requests from policymakers to understand how well the non-pharmaceutical interventions like mobility restrictions were being observed in the population. We used O2 Motion's mobility data set, which shows how groups of people are moving around their neighbourhoods and across the country. The data were fully aggregated and anonymised before we had access to it, so we couldn't identify individuals. This is really important for maintaining ONS's ethical standards and our remit of data science for public good. The data were close to real time, with a one day lag for many of the outputs, and with 25 million users, we get a reliable picture of mobility trends. And as these were updated quickly, we were quickly able to analyse the impact of new restrictions being imposed, or indeed restrictions being lifted. We also had breakdowns by variables like age, whether the trips were for commuting or not, and the distance travelled, which really helped to build a picture of mobility and of observance of the restrictions during the pandemic. The impact of this analysis has been that we've been able to provide relevant analysis right into the heart of government decision making at the time it was needed.